Now, you know, we, we sometimes have, we, we chuckle, you see us chuckling our stuff, but really, this is really sad. This is, this is a really sad time in this country because I don't think anybody, even the oldest person in this room, can ever remember anything like this ever happening in the United States of America well, because we sent our, our, our grandfathers went to fight in World War I and World War II, great-grandfathers, to ensure this kind of thing did not happen here. Yes, if you have been following this channel very keenly, you will realize the view has been going after around the Santis like never before. It has reached a certain level. Sometimes I question myself. They keep going back into history. What happened to our ancestors? Ron the Santis recently had this interview. I think I put up this video a few hours ago. Because of copyright related issues, you know. I had to trim out some part of that video. Then I end up deleting the video. I don't know if you saw it. I will repeat play the video for those that never saw. Because sometimes I feel bad when I delete a clip after the notification has gone out. Guys, when the left lies and creates these phony narratives, you've got to push back. You know, there's too many of us for you to pull that BS, sir. <laughs> there's too many of us who actually, you know, you know, those are the lies that you've created. You know, there are special people from time to time that we talk about, you know, who have done amazing things, came out of slavery, and were able to break a barrier. That wasn't 99% of folks, mm -hmm. sir. There are enough black people in your state who could actually teach you what happened because their grandparents and the great pa grandparents, they spread all these stories for us so we would know because y'all weren't writing them in the books. So let's not fool around with this because as she said yesterday, Kamala Harris said yesterday, Vice President by the by, <laughs> said yesterday, why are we re-fighting this? This happened, we know it happened, we are the products of what happened, so what are you talking about who's lying? After this interview, Ron DeSantis accepted and called out Kamala Harris for a debate. Kamala Harris immediately ran rejected to debate him. Kamala Harris got on a jet at taxpayer expense and flew to Florida to lie about the African-American history standards that were developed. Understood. And why, why is this important, though? Why, well, you, you, you're asked about it a lot, but so you that's can't, what you're saying. No, no, I'm saying it is important. Why? You can't bend the knee to the left's lies. When the left lies and creates these phony narratives, you've got to push back. They've been doing this to Republicans for years and years. Republicans bend the knee, and it's just one thing after another. Second, we, this goes into the whole fight on indoctrination in schools. We eliminated critical race theory a couple years ago. When we did that, the media lied and the left lied, saying, you don't want to teach about African-American history, equating political activism and CRT with black history he said, no, not only do in the bill, it says you've got to do all these things, teach about injustice, teach about discrimination. So these standards were born out of the fight against CRT because this is true history. When I saw this, I had to laugh. If you know that what you are saying is the truth, then why not face the person you have been bashing? Kamala Harris took this as a political campaign now, bringing this up in Florida, or oh, they don't want you to know your history, they now want to tell you black people benefit from slavery, this, that, and so on. Whoopi Goldberg is not happy that this is happening. Sometimes when you look at them, they really don't have some really backing point you know, to buy the Sundays. What I see on daily basis is this issue of work, work, work. That is the kind of insane things Joy Beha has been putting up going after around the Sundays. Taking a look at what is going on here, they even went further to say, 
Ron DeSantis is doing all this because he cannot get the black vote. Remember something, Ron DeSantis is not running, you know, for these primaries, you know, just to get all the white people to vote. You know, the whole country, if he ventured to be the nominee, now talking about slavery, Whoopi Goober sometimes sounds like someone that doesn't even know what is going on. You are a product of this. Because Ron DeSantis said Kamala Harris lied about the curriculum, he did not decline that slavery didn't happen. It happened. And what Kamala Harris said was actually not what is happening. I understand when you look at that curriculum and the single line that is written there where they talked about this issue of slavery, you know, it was like selective teaching. like. You know, you should choose a certain portion. You should not teach all students about what happened partaking to slavery. Then, that line say, they benefited from slavery by learning trade, which is something I really don't want to go there because I've had a lot of debate with people. Some say black people did not benefit from slavery. Some say they benefited from slavery because they had to learn something which to me, it benefited them. Slavery was not a good thing. We all know and we condemned it and never wish someone can experience it because when I think of what I've seen, though I was not there, the kind of videos I used to watch partaking to slavery, extremely disturbing. But we cannot be taking up what our ancestors did. We continue to fight ourselves. That is where I stand. I don't like to be seeing this creating you know a lot of problems among us because of what happened 100 years ago it is extremely disturbing i have seen people coming after me to say oh i'm trying to undermine that slavery you know never happened i have never said so in any video slavery was there it happened and i feel the pain you know what our ancestor went through it is not a problem Looking into what happened or what is happening in Florida, Ron DeSantis coming out to say it was a lie. That is not what is going on. RT, because this is true history. So to take something and demagogue it like that, that's bad faith. And here's the thing. This was a public process. These guys were going through it. The people could have raised objections. No one said anything about this. They were being lauded for the job that they did by people across the political spectrum. Now Harris comes in and parachutes. What Republicans should have done is push back against her, say, you are operating in bad faith. These guys down in Florida, they didn't have an agenda. They were just trying to shoot straight. We know what the left does. Republicans, you cannot take that bait. You've got to fight back against these people. Yes, you will see it clearly. Ron DeSantis addresses some Republicans and you know going after him after this issue